So now we're on to the race part. I've got 40 jelly roll strips here. This is actually two different jelly rolls and I'm sorry I don't remember what they were called. I put them together. I bought them in the summer. I just kind of randomly put them together. Black, white, and gray. So you take one of these accents and one of your strips. Now a traditional jelly roll race strip is you just take these strips and you sew them end to end to end to end to end to end until you get this big long piece. But for this one, you take your strip and we'll put the blue on that side. Line it up evenly, you don't have it all wonky. You're supposed to go fast because it's a race, but still you don't sew it all wonky just because it's a race. You just still have to have it straight and even and okay that's straight on there and oops jiggled around a little bit and line it back up properly and sew it toward the strip. Leave that kind of piled up there. Stay. And then we take the next one. And we get the edge. And these are our batik, so it doesn't really matter what side's what, but you gotta sew right sides together. See, pretty much the same thing, either way. Makes batik easy. Technically, there is a right side, but it's almost impossible to tell what side it is. And usually, you can't really tell anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then you put this one on here. And you sew it. And eventually, I'll have a big long pile, and it'll all fall down in there, and I have a bin to catch it in. So I'm just going to keep doing this. It's going to take me a while, because I'm not actually racing. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. And that'll be most of the quilt top ready to go as a big long piece and then I just start sewing the strips together after that so we'll get this done and carry on. I used Ferris's toy box here at the bottom of my table there to drop all the strips into as they came off my machine. And I'm going to make this pattern as it is. I believe it's 81 inches long with this method but uh, I think that should be good because it's for my nephew and he's tall, but 81 is pretty good enough. The next thing is you've got to find the end. So this is what you do. Just sew straight down. Piece, accent, strip, accent, strip, accent. You get the idea. So what it looks like is this. Sometimes these quilts are called 1600 quilts because if you don't do the accent or anything in the middle and you just sew the strips end to end to end to end to end all the way long, if you have 40 strips, you'll have 1600 inches of a long strip. So that's where the 1600 name comes from. That area of the three colors right there is the beginning of the long strip. So I started with that row and went all the way down and then I sewed the next row on after I cut it and then I sewed the next row on after I cut it. Now I'll get back to the other side and do a full out view. That's the top of the quilt. It's completed. You can see the th accent fabrics, the three accent fabrics make a pattern going down it. And I kind of got in a groove sewing, so I inadvertently have one extra strip sewn onto it. So it's a little bit wider than it should be, but that's okay, it doesn't really matter. The purple is the inner border, the blue is the outer. I'm going to make the backing out of purple and blue, and the binding is going to be the green. I'll go down a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Unfortunately, I have to film sideways or it's not going to work. And my phone's doing it right now because the other camera's a little bit on the small side. It doesn't quite zoom exactly how I want it to. In other words, it's pretty good.
but it weighs. I mean, it's pretty good. So there you go. That is the adjustable size jelly roll race quilt.